Hi, I'm Donna Cutiel from Scenic Roots Garden Center, and this is From Garden to Glass. In this episode, we are gonna do a mint white wine sangria. This is just very easy to put together in your own home, and it starts with a simple syrup. Not flavored, this is just a basic simple syrup, which is a two to one ratio. It's two cups of sugar to one cup of water, boiled over the stove, take it from the heat, let it cool, and then store it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. I've already made my simple syrups for you, so we can just go ahead and make it. With this recipe, you can do two things. You can make it by the glass, or you can make it by the pitcher, and then put it in the fridge for 24 hours to chill, so it can evolve and include all the, um, all the flavors from the mint. So what you need is just a shot glass of simple syrup, a touch of sugar in the bottom, a couple sprigs of mint leaves, and then a thin slice of lemon and a thin slice of lime, and then you're gonna lightly muddle these together. Just put that in the bottom of your glass. And the sugar is a little rough, so it helps break up some of the botanicals of the mint and the lemon and the lime. So you're just gonna just roughly muddle that, add your white wine. And then serve. This is what it looks like. So when you're doing a pitcher, you're gonna add a cup of your simple syrup that you made on the stove. You're gonna add a bottle of white wine, generally a Chardonnay or a Pinot Grigio. You're gonna add thin slices of lemon and thin slices of lime. And then about 12 sprigs of mint leaves. And then you're gonna let it chill overnight. The longer the time that you can let a sangria chill, the better, so all the flavors can combine. If you happen to have six hours, you have six hours. It's no big deal, the flavors will still be there. But the point is, is to hopefully let it sit overnight so you have the most flavor that you can possibly get from the leaves of the mint. Just like that. tip about growing mint, as I'm sitting here chopping these lemons and their limes, mint is extremely invasive. So if you want a patch of mint in your yard, it is better to do it in a raised bed where you can contain it from running on your ground or do it in a pot. Um, generally a 10 or a 12 inch container is all you'll need for mint for the season. Otherwise, you'll be pulling it out of your grass, you're gonna be pulling it out of your vegetable garden, you're gonna be pulling it out of your neighbor's yard. It is extremely invasive. And that's your sangria. You store it in the fridge and you're good to go.